I don't want it on this camera. I want to flip the camera around. There we go. Flip around. There you go. All right, now you should be able to see comments or whatever. All right. So, I don't know. What do you want? It don't matter. Just just pick up lures whether you buy them. We're not going to film you checking out so you can fake it. Yeah, but I mean, I'm probably going to get something. Yeah. I probably don't need to. I got to go look at my account because I don't spend more than I thought I was going to. But you wanted to look at something, right? Um, <coughs> I, I really don't want to buy more Kytex. I, I well, want to look at paddle say I want to try to I get them damn wait, Nikos. Wait until the Nico comes yeah. out. The Nico comes out this month, but it's they did a bunch of pre-orders and it's got a ship from Japan. How are these reaction innovations? Oh, they're fine. I use the Beavers, but that's about it. Yeah, this Beaver 4.2, I got some of these. Oh, you live already? Yes. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, Reggie always want to use some Guggen baits. Uh-huh. I just don't. I don't know. He he always want to use Guggen baits, but then he always talking about how much they tear up on. Is it the brand or I is it know. the? It's the plastic. He always talk about a drag, a Guggen drag something, drag worm. Caleb is on. What? Watch. Caleb is on. Watch him. Watch him start putting their. Deron is on. Caleb gonna start putting their orders. Yeah. Oh, some um, um, dude says uh, Guggen is all hype. <laughs> a, a sport the angler. Yeah. What up, Ace Boy? This. When we go smallmouth fishing, Reggie is always using this, a Guggen drag and drop. And mm -hmm. I swear to you, every time he sets a hook, he got to put a new worm on. Yeah, for but six, that's how, that's how I am with the Kytex. But I love them because they catch fish. Yeah, but for $6, you get what? Nine? Guggen breaks easy. DC, D. Cotto. Yeah. Deron said Guggen is all hype. So it's all branding, huh? Yeah. I mean, hey, I ain't trying to flame nobody. I don't nobody get upset with me. I just ain't ain't for me. It just ain't for me. Jay is in the in the live. My brother Jay. Yeah. <laughs> what up, Jay? Yeah. Well, I just I'm just asking because I don't fish with them. Yo, how about this? So so Z Man has come out with. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, Go I'm ahead. gonna tell y'all. Uh -huh. I was throwing Z Man. I was throwing Z Man TRDs, and I was missing fish. And tell me how I was bringing in a jig head with no worm on. Ooh. It's Z-Man. It's supposed to stretch, right? Yeah. I have never set the hook on a Nico Helgramite and not had my Helgramite. But I'm telling you, I was fish were ripping. Uh, they were um, shell crackers. They were ripping the Ned off the hook. Jacob Sheldon is asking what you're looking for specifically. Um, yes, we are green top. Nothing specifically. I just I haven't been up to the store to shop in forever. So I figured why not bring you all along? I'm just walking down. It's it's cool to shop on the internet and be like, I need this, I need this. But when you at the store and you can touch it, you're like, oh, I want this. You know, it's I go because it's just different being in the store. Maybe yeah. I'm old school. No, I like to feel and touch the base and see like how the supple they are. Too. Yeah, I do like the missiles. But what about the Z-Man? Z-Man has come out with some new paddle tails as well. Hold on, hold on. So this, um, this is my rod at the house. Jack Jack Mitchell is asking. Um, with oh. with rods on with reels are on sale man if you can find man, the reel that you want reel, you buy it yeah it's they ain't they're, in they're, the only left-handed reels are in inventory y'all see this this is in the box at the crib man i'm waiting to do the unboxing look at the look at this look look at the beautifulness oh my gosh i gotta put this down i got one of these at the house i have not opened up the box what because is it a zodius i promised to do an unboxing on camera somebody what? said missile beats a bomb shot. Yeah, I like and, the bomb and, shot. And Dakota, he knew exactly what that uh, Zodius was. Yeah, I got one, Cotto. I got one. He said, you got to open it now. <laughs> <laughs> Ace Boy said that. Well, I mean, I got a, I got a, I got another rod in there. So y'all remember when I broke that, that $350 Shimano? I was in tears, literally. Mm -hmm. And I've been, I shopped forever to try to find a replacement and most people who had that rod said the Zodius was not on the same level even. But there's just not a lot out there in the $200. I can't go to $400 and get a Loomis anymore. So I got two rods. I'm hoping they're a good fit, but the other rod is a secret. You gotta wait for the unboxing. It's not a Shimano, guys. 
It's not a Shimano. Will surprise some people. Hey, hey, Deron. I told him I started using Cinco's. He got mad. <laughs> <laughs> Robo worms is dope. You throw robo worms? Mike, yes, I do throw robo worms. Um, I know D. Mike, throw Mike, Rob, worms. Mike Robbins jumped on. What's up, Mike? Say walleye. It's almost walleye time. Hey, if, the, if the river comes down, if it ever stops raining, I'm there. I already thought about it. But mm -hmm. the river is it's high, ain't it? All the other rivers are high. Hey, Duran, that's what you've been looking for right there. You want your 10-inch Magnum stick sinker. Mike said, yeah, the river is high, my bad. And um, Jamie's asking, what's the deal with the Zodius? Why is it so good? I haven't owned one yet. Um, why is it good? First one, it's Shimano. <laughs> Second, it's beautiful. Like, did you see the way that the carbon is exposed and a wrap and a blank? It's gorgeous. Um, the rod looks airbrushed, but I've never held one before, so... Um, it should be light. It should be sensitive. It's got a very nice real seat from what I touched. That's the first one I've ever touched. I had to put it down because I really want to go through it with it's my rod and not the rod that the tackles with. Jacob Sheldon said, come to Wisconsin. I will come to Wisconsin once it warms up <laughs> <laughs> and get some small mouth. Um, I would do that. How long would it take us to drive to Wisconsin? A long time. A long time? I mean, how a long versus going to Florida? A long time. It's a totally different drive. I've driven to um, uh, South Bend, Indiana, and man, it's a ter it's a tough drive, man. So, really? Yeah, yeah. So it's just flat and boring. No, nah, it's it, it, this time of year, deer. I mean, it's cold, snow. Uh, I ain't going up there when it's cold. Okay, all right, yeah. No, no, Summertime no. is a totally different thing. But see, he got smallmouth. Oh. <laughs> he know what I'm going up there yeah. for. Yeah. Ace boy said Taco Caravan on the way. <laughs> taco Caravan. He just bought a taco. Yeah. All right, and um, Armando was talking about the craftsmanship oh, of the Zodius. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't wait to open mine up. I, I look at the box every day, and I'm mm -hmm. like, man, but I, I really got to do it as an unboxing. Mm -hmm. Look at this. So if y'all on the live stream, I'm going to tell y'all, but I'm going to do a video about this. A lot of people stuck on, like, the new bait. I got to get the new bait. What's new? What's new? You see this? These are heading. There's a reason why heading torpedoes and pawpaws are still on the shelf. These are some of the most legendary top waters you could throw. That's my you, favorite. That's my, one of my favorite. That and Zara's Really, really into it. I'm gonna tell y'all, pay attention. Like, I'm a, I'm a finesse guy, so I sweat details like crazy, right? I, the fish hitting on top, but it matters what top water you throw. So if you pay close attention, different pawpaws sound differently. That's a trick from Zell Rowland. Two, if you throw a torpedo, and listen to it, it sounds like a dragonfly that's gotten stuck on the water. Mm -hmm. So if you smallmouth fishing in current, almost no bait you're gonna throw is gonna beat the torpedo because it sounds like the wings of a dragonfly. But most people just look at it as it's a top water, or either they say it's old. The other thing about it being old is everybody wants to throw the new bait. Fish don't live that long. So a fish ain't never seen a torpedo, so a torpedo is what? A new bait. Right. Fish only live smallmouth for 15, 20 years. This bait been out since 1900 and, mm -hmm. you know, since what? Somebody said 100 years. Yeah, five of them. I don't know. And, and it said yeah, the, 1894. Um, 1894. Spitting Image. That's one of my favorites, too. Yep. Is there, like, how many baits have been made to copy this bait? Look that, at this. That, that, hey, man. I saw some people freaking out over this bait. And I looked at it, and I said, yo, it's a, it's a heading, like the heading crawler. Hedden used to make a bait that had metal wings that opened up and it crawled across the water and everybody's freaking out. And I'm like, this is nothing new. Why are you geeked up? And dude was like, because it's mega bass. I was like, it's not original. It's, they didn't make anything new. It's just the Hedden bait. And everybody was looking at me. I'm like, you realize this bait existed forever already? Why are you going to pay $30 for it? So, I don't know. I got sidetracked when I saw the top one. There's a bait that's hard to find anywhere. I've been trying to get them on eBay auctions. What's it's that? a Berkeley Pitbull 3.5. And I'm trying to get them on eBay auctions. And literally three baits the other day went for $40 for a mm -hmm. Berkeley crankbait. But I can't find them in stock anywhere. It's almost like Berkeley stopped making them. Mm. But that one color, you can get the other colors and pay $3, $4 a bait. But this one color I want, 
people paying ten to fifteen dollars a bait for that cover. You might have to go to the KVD joint. I don't really like the way the KVDs look. Like they just look old. They 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 look like they don't have that greater craftsmanship, but they're yeah. charging full price like other brands. Such as name. Yeah. Jacob okay. Sheldon, how do I bring the comments back after Chapter the screen? They're not coming back. There we go. Yeah, the crazy crawler. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Anthony Gray. You know who that is, right? Yep. That's fast and free. That's pretty. Yeah, KVD, um, it just looks like their average mass produced stuff. I'm not saying it's bad, but it just you can't charge the same price as some of these nice lures and and the craftsmanship isn't there they got some stepped up colors on these oh, little yeah. Baits. oh yeah i got one of these i threw it i bought it this winter i got it over at a uh, discount tackle and tony tell me say y'all gonna buy something go ahead and start <laughs> getting what you want because i'm gonna I'll shop i'm not shopping because of the live but <laughs> <laughs> There's something down here I want to get. I ain't got to it yet, though. It says Strike King's hooks, they suck, so you're going to miss fish. Oh, I take all, I change out all my crankbait hooks. Yeah, he, well, he has a video where he uh, changes out all of the crankbait ho hooks to Gamagasus. I don't yep. throw waffle ploppers no more, and this is because of Anthony Gray. He's in the comments. Yeah. We fished a tournament together, and damn, this thing was crushing. But the, yep. it just is not the same as a waffle plopper. I much prefer a Chapo. 90 and a Chapo 120. What colors do you like to hit? I like the same colors. I like bone. He laughing. Um, he laughing because uh, this color, um, that shad color right there. The, fu it. the fusion hooks are money. Berkeley fusion hooks. That's what uh, Cotto said. I believe Cotto, but if, for me, it's got what Somebody to give me a Chapo. You said uh -huh. the 90. You say you like the 90s. <laughs> yeah, the Chapo sound. <laughs> um, See that blue gear color sold out. Yeah, Fishtails RVA said he was watching my video and his wife said, what are you watching that has a helicopter in it? And it was the sound of my chopo coming through the water. His wife chopo, was listening to it chopo. upstairs. I have not thrown a rat yet. It seemed like it'll work in Bird Park, but I haven't thrown one yet. I'm gonna go downtown and throw that in the river. Anthony Gray seconds the Berkeley comment about the Berkeley hooks. Damn, that's gorgeous. Now I do have a couple of these. Look at you that. Know you know our secret store where I got those from. Locked yeah. up on them. Damn. Jamo said, um, "Do they still make the finesse baits that I used to use? Yes. Sluggos. Yes. It's yep. hard to find a sluggo, but yes, they do. This is it, the pompadour. Everybody's. I mean, it looked pretty and all, but come on, it ain't that much different than what. It, I'm not gonna pay twenty three dollars for it. Yeah. That's a yeah. Is it is it twice as good or three times as good as other lures? I don't know. I've, I've never thrown it. Now, I knew I was going to get this because I saw this before we started the live show. I know. Y'all know me. I'm going to buy a swim bait, but I'm still going to buy a baby swim bait. <laughs> <laughs> Billy not here. I can't. I cannot do the big baits. I got some big baits. I got, I just, after like 10 or 12 casts and that brick hitting the water, it really just messes up my whole confidence level. Duran said, um, wiggle low. Oh, wiggle low. I like this little bait. A false tail shiner. Made in China. It ain't that big. You're getting it? So, um, yeah, I'm getting it, but it ain't You can always tell the green top what colors people people think. Because it'd be gone. Yeah. I can't tell if it's soft because it's got a plastic case on it. we need to get you back on that kayak so you can you so we can have some of them tournaments. You say you can't tell how supple it is because it's uh -oh. in, the, in that place. Yeah, it's in a, a frame yeah. to keep yeah. it from bending. So it's got a pre-rigged hook. But we want to see how well the tail motion is. Mm -hmm. All right. Who's in Kytex on the end cap? Yeah, I wanted to see what they had for Chatterbait. I'm surprised so much stuff is in stock because yeah, they look like they restock. I was in here not too long ago and um, looks like they got stuff back off stock. <laughs> now, you know, I don't use the regular ones no more. No, now look. Are better. Um, if y'all go to Store Frontier and buy the Smouth shirt, you get entered in a draw, and I'm giving away two jackhammers. You got to buy the shirt, and everybody who buys the shirt, I can see, like, just tell me I can see who bought a shirt. 
um, tell me your name that you bought it under, your first name, whatever, and it'll show me in the, in the system. But if you buy the shirt, the next 30 days, you'll be entered to win um, two, I'm giving away two $26 worth of jackhammers. The shirt costs $22. So basically, you get a shirt and you get entered to win your money back, basically. So um, I went ahead and put the bill and bought the jackhammers. I'm going to give them away. I bought four, but y'all ain't getting the two. So. <laughs> They don't even have a jackhammer up here. The jackhammers are behind the counter. Actually, oh, really? I want to look at what colors they got. Come on. They they keep the jackhammers behind the counter. Let's see what let's see what they got. They all right here. Well, so yeah, yeah. so my fire color is How gone. How much are they? It, um, so they different prices, but 17? most of them are seventeen. Yeah. See that color down there? One of the ones you're giving away, the white and chartreuse. Yeah. That does very well. Um, the black and blue, my blue bill cover. I have never cover. bought anything on a black and Man, blue chatterbait. Man, I kill, I kill a black and blue chatterbait with a tr um, no, trailer. Never. Um, but that that the fire tiger or whatever that orange one is always gone. Who that? Deron said, it "Got mine." <laughs> I know. I can see Deron, tiny barbers. Um, it's probably I think like five people have gotten their shirt already. So. Yep. Uh huh. Heights delights is my go-to. That's Kodo. Black and blue rage menace trailer. Yep. Uh, stop trying to be like Greg uh -huh. Blanchard. Uh -huh. I'm trying to be like uh -huh. Greg Blanchard. I can't do it. I have not caught anything on a black and blue yet. Um, what's the color? Second from the top, left hand side. This one here? Yes. Green shed. Yep, that's it. Let me get one of those. Three. Three. We got to pay for it now since it's behind the counter? All right. No. I'm going to leave my stuff at the counter. Billy, Three Billy vouch for me. Oh. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, and second at the bottom, second from the left, right there. Uh, it's a half ounce of that one. Nah, uh-uh, uh-uh. Same one. Uh-uh. Two up, two up from that. I think I would literally want to buy this in a quarter ounce. People are making a half ounce and three quarter. That's the height of life. Let me see that. Brett height. Yeah. That's pretty. I'm getting that, yeah. Right. Yeah, we should be getting um, stealth ones, too. The, the ones with the, ones with the clear, the ones, the they got the clear fin on them, too, right? Yeah. It's like a Lexan, a clear Lexan blade. All the quiet ones. If if it, if it's if you got to go that quiet, I'm fishing something else for Ness. Yeah, you know? I can use. Uh, yeah. Some people have asked, and I just saw some new stuff that we're getting in, and that's one of the things we're picking up. Picking up a few different Z-Man things. Mm -hmm. that stuff. All right, I'm gonna stick my stuff up here, but we're still shopping, man. All right. I won't go and set mine down too. Yeah. All right. All right. What else is? Uh, We've been on for 18 minutes. It's 6.30, so they're going to start hollering at us. Now, Dave's used to make these finesse jigs that I like. Caleb to says, if you buy a shirt, do you have a chance to win a bait? No, Caleb. You, I think you're ineligible. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I already feed you, boy. I got some baits I'm going to give you. <laughs> I already feed you. Ain't that enough? Did he say no? He didn't say not yet. <laughs> For everybody on the live, Fishing Kid 06, that's, that's uh, Warren's son. All right, that's, that's one. This, this is my Kytex. I, like I pretty much got every color, but the problem is this they one. keep, they keep. Um, that's my junk right there, the size mm -hmm. too. I use yeah, those but, as trailers but the, too. But the fact that they tear is they what tear makes them so good. Easy. But I'm telling you. I'm going to try this look, new color. Hold on. I'm telling you, the Nico Winnow. But I can't buy so the Nico you can't yet. Get the, the, the Winnow is coming out, y'all. So... There's a bait coming from Nico, and I know some of it's been out there. Um, they did a pre-release on Black Friday. Let me tell you what, I have tested the prototype. That joint is the truth, okay? Imagine something as soft as a Kitek, but can stretch as far as a Nico Helgramite. Like, dude, I'm telling you, I was throwing this bait in the winter, and I was tagging fish. I was catching striper. I threw the same bait all day long until I hung it up on the bottom. And I felt kind of bad because Japan had shipped us three. It was me and Scott Barrett. They shipped us three bodies. They were the only three prototypes in existence. And I hung one of them in the bottom of the lake. But at least it was in the day. But the bait has a textured surface that actually moves, creates fire. Trust, man, this bait is fire. The colors are dope. But the, the winnow is coming out. And you should get the winnow because... Mm. That bait, I'm telling you, man, that bait is the truth. These lures are great, but they're, he's right. They're super supple, supple. They tear. Some people use the super glue on them, but I don't, but they catch fish. 
Mine tear all over the place. They yeah. tear in the middle. They tear through the hook. They can get raw right here. Yeah, but I I need my reel. I need my DC reel. I don't need a DC. If I get a DC, I'm going to give it to Caleb so all he right. can get better at it. Michael Holloway said, if I was starting from uh, zero and I w he said, I feel overwhelmed when I walk in the store. What do you advise to calm me down and shop well when I instead of looking at all these lures? Are you starting from, you literally have no fishing tackle at all? Like that's straight I, zero. I think that's the scenario you're okay. talking about. So if that's the scenario, the first thing you need to decide is what are you targeting? Are you trying to catch a specific fish or do you just want to catch fish, period? So answer that question and I can tell you what you I say, would recommend. You say starting from zero. Okay. You trying to catch something specific or just want to catch fish, period? All right, so let's say he, he's fishing with Duran. So you know his species, are going, he said fish, period. So he's going to be largemouth and crappie bluegill. So if you're starting from zero and you literally just want to catch fish, two rods, you get a medium spinning rod in a 2500 series. Um, so if you're at zero, that's a spinning rod. Okay, it does not have a trigger underneath. See that trigger underneath? That's a casting rod. Okay, so my recommendation for somebody starting from absolute zero is going to be a medium action spinning rod and an ultra light spinning rod. The reel you're going to put on it is going to be a 2500 size. Show let's go. Let's go show them 2500 reel. And the, the ultra light you're going to put a thousand size. On. I don't know if they got it. But I mean, it don't matter the brand. We just want to show the size. And of course, y'all, yeah, reel, reels are sold out everywhere. Okay. Right here, right here is a 1,000 size spinning reel, okay? 1,000 FI, that's a Shimano Sedona. Um, I and still then, have a Sedona right now. Matter of fact, it was fairly new. This is a 2,500. You can see they're very similar, okay? This is gonna be the one you put on a medium, the medium heavy spinning. That's gonna be on an ultralight to light spinning, okay? This one, you're gonna spool it up with Let's say you're just starting out, so spool it up with six pound test and the medium spinning, um, spool 12. it up with 10, 12, maybe yep. 14. The key when you're starting out is don't try to go big. You just want to start. You just want to get some fish in, get some confidence in your technique, your hook set, your presentation, be able to cast. So you're going to start off with smaller baits. You got to think everything in the lake eats everything little. So if you want to increase your chances, of catching everything, fish small. Bluegill, crappie, bass, catfish, chain pickerel, pike, smallmouth, they all are gonna eat a minnow. If you throw in a two inch minnow, you have a chance of catching anything that's swimming in that lake. Versus if you say, hey, I'm gonna go fishing and I'm gonna start off with the spinnerbait, now you're only gonna catch largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass, chain pickerel, pike. You eliminated everything small in that lake. You also, because you're going big, just by the laws of nature, there are fewer predators than there are prey. So if you target the prey, your chances of having action all day go way up. I think that's why so many people are such advocates for crappy fishing, because you catch a lot of fish without a whole lot of downtime and a whole lot of effort. He, he said, Michael said, do you canoe a lot? I'm terrified of the water being that close. What do I do? Well, it, we can put you on a kayak. <laughs> Most of the time, the kayak, the water is not that deep. And, yeah, and Duran, he ain't all that fond of the water, but he gets on the kayak. Yeah. Um, wear a life jacket that's rated for your size and go with a partner. Don't go right. alone. Um, I even know some people who wear life jackets bank fishing. It's not a problem. Um, if you're uncomfortable, you're uncomfortable. Screw what other people think. Maybe, maybe we, we do that, have a video where we bring a novice out, complete novice. So I got one where I took somebody yeah. out kayak fishing, had never been in a kayak before ever. All right, that, that might work. That might work. And Let's Caleb said, Caleb said, what's, what's the best ultralight you recommend? Shimano. <laughs> Shimano. I ain't got to go past that. Y'all know and, I And Michael said, we take him, take him. Michael keep asking me to take him fish. Look, man. There's nobody collabing on my YouTube channel until I get a vaccine. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 I'm this, putting that this COVID, right now COVID is going to... We can't collab until... Yeah. Until I get a vaccine. Right. Stop asking. I'm, I'm going to hurt your feelings. No. <laughs> Answer is no. Yeah. All right. Anything else you got to look up? I'm, I'm putting these contacts yeah. in my stack. What's up, man? All this mine. We still shopping. Oh, yeah. and, and vlogging. Where are you? Come, 
I've never caught anything on an umbrella rig either. Man, I've caught a couple. I can't get anything consistent going on. Me either. I like these shad delicious, but they just cost too much. Anthony Gray said you want to fish some Swift Creek tournaments this year? Uh, yeah, that's possible. I mean, as long as you know somebody that will let us in because it's all private because they keep my personal Richmond comments to myself. <laughs> but again, I need a vaccine, and I can't. I'm not. I can't play around with this, this, this thing, man. All right, we're at 25 minutes. Anything else you got to look at in the stores? Getting closer to, closer to closing time. Hey, JMO, JMO, what you see? What do you see? <laughs> Nobody need to see that. I know exactly what you're showing. I'm, I'm showing the whole show. I'm just gonna let Jamie laugh. <laughs> this stuff works right here. Deron said he heard Anthony is a great net man. <laughs> He's trying to start a fight. Yeah. There's a whole <laughs> lot of trash talking in the off season. A whole lot of trash talking in the off season. Uh, <laughs> um, also, I talked to Bass Lover Deron about this earlier, y'all. I finished his boat. So the me versus Bass Lover for all that trash he was talking in year two of my YouTube channel is going to happen in 2021. Oh, I got to be on that film and everything. I so, got to be on that. We're going to have, I got a lot of tournaments planned for this year and the rules are going to be different. There are going to be rules to this. And you just going to be wide open, just run what you brung. No. Ace Boy said, what's the off season? Ace Boy, I can't fish under 40 degrees, man. If that 45 even, I, I can't, not on a kayak. And Michael said he got Duran in the tournament. Damn, why would you pick that? <laughs> I guess blood overrides logic. Look, y'all see this? It's a four inch fluke. It's not, I don't know how many of y'all know about these. These are not super flukes. These are flukes. They do not have the slit in the belly, even though this was missing its tail. They don't have that slit in the belly like a super fluke does with the fat belly and the slot for the hook. But what these are, are one of the best finesse paddle tails ever. That? I started throwing these instead of um, that instead of Kitex. So you see that? See that thin profile? Super thin, it's got a, um, a grit, like it's sharp. So that causes it to move differently in the water. They're very soft, but they last longer than the Kitex. But I put these on a scrounger head. Um, and in the rivers for smallmouth, I put them on one of the ultralight um, chatterbait heads. I take all the skirt off and just run this. Um, I know Reggie, I don't think Reggie's in the stream, but Reggie would tell you, if you go back and look at the video, that matter of fact, when we were out there together, remember I went back to back on like five smallmouth? I was throwing that on a chatterbait. Oh, yeah. I think I think I bought some after that trip. Because they beast. Ace Boy said he fished Central Park last week at 35 degrees. Wow. Come on, man. Nah, nah, I, I'm not built for that. I can't don't say nothing because I've been out in the uh -uh. snow with Anthony Gray. It's my it's my Andrew, gear. Jerry's on the right up. Andrew's on the right up. You know what I need to see? I need to see if they have scrounging this for real. Um, no. Because I can't find any of them anywhere on the internet. Let's see the color. Let's um let's go over there to where they got the heads and hooks. Over there to the left. Hold on, I need some of these for chat. Come on, man. Come on through, man. Thank you. I don't know if they have, I haven't seen them either. They had them, they moved them over to this uh, wall over here, to the left, I mean, to your right, but, With, uh, but they didn't move stuff around, so. No, see this section over there? See where there's extra hooks off? They got some other heads and stuff over there. I guarantee you they're on that other side. Because last time I was in here, that's what I had to do. Mm -hmm. Reggie just jumped in late. Reggie late. No, that's all right. He's here. He's been at work all day. We'll be telling him 6.15. It's okay. Koto talk about the... Um, I know he had to beg Cheryl to let him... He was in a Susquehanna waiting with ice floating. 
Damn. Kodo. I mean, you had on the waiters, right? God, yeah. Dang. Ice floating by. No, I'm not built for that. Here we go. There you go. I thought they was on the other side. Yes, sir. Neoprene waiters, that's what he said. Right there. Damn, that shit costs eight dollars a jig head. Mm, eight dollars for four, right? You need all of them, dude. Eight dollars. They're open hooks and they get hung quite a bit. But I gotta buy for fishing kid too. Oh. Yeah, I got a kid that needs fishing right. tackle. That's right. The original scrounger, um, SB. Matt at SB Fishing calls this the dealie, but I call it a scrounger because I've known it since Lucky Strike made them. This is phenomenal to fish a small worm on or either a small paddle tail like the Zoom or Kitek. Um, before the Chatterbait came out, this was a vibrating jig head, so um, it pays to have knowledge. Michael Holloway said, what does open hook mean? It doesn't have a guard on it. So uh, I don't have an example. It says some with a weed guard, sure. Well, this is the only one I see. But you mm -hmm. see that wire? I don't know if that's, can you see it? Yeah. The wire in front of the hook? That's a weed guard. If you don't have any type of weed guard, or if you don't bury the point inside of the bait to keep it weedless, it's considered to be an open hook. The hook is exposed, the point is out without any deflection, so. No, not necessarily trouble, uh, but it just means you're gonna get hung up more if you're a novice. Well, even if you're not a novice, you're going to get hung up more, but... It's a lot of hits. Anthony Gray said he's talking about he can put some money on it. Who, Duran? No, Anthony Gray. He put money on what? I think y'all fishing tournaments at Swift Creek. Oh, you mean... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. I know what you mean now. No, I'm He don't mean it. official sanction tournament. No, he mean... No, he mean unofficial, about. yeah. I know what he's talking about. No, Anthony. No, we're not. <laughs> we used no. to do a tournament on Walla Mill. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> now now Anthony, we're talking. Anthony ain't going to Walla Mill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He hates Walla Mill. You talking about that time we paddled Walla Mill in the wind? With two oars in a John boat, in a John boat <laughs> paddle the whole thing against the wind. That's that's going hard right there. Yep. In a John boat. <laughs> in the I have one of these. That's a really good fillet knife. Mm -hmm. I like that. It holds the edge pretty good. All right, it's quarter two, man. We we we're gonna have to wrap this up. Duran mm. Duran said five dollars. Let's go. You the one talking shit to Anthony. Anthony's one of the few people I know that can outfish me. Cause it ain't but like two or three. All right, you want to say something before we wrap this thing up? Um, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you thought about us live streaming, shopping, talking trash in the comments below. Remember, if you go buy a smouth shirt, you get entered in the drawing to win the chatterbaits. Thank you guys for being on the live stream and uh. And I'm going to take it to the house. I'm probably going to record another podcast episode today. So make sure you check out the podcast also. All right. They're still talking trash. All right. <laughs> Who talking trash? Anthony and Duran. Ace Boy said, great idea. And Michael Holloway said, this was amazing. Thank you, brother. <laughs> You're welcome, Mike. I'll see y'all later. I ain't going to open fingers. I can't stop it. It's the X up there in the top. That was dope. It was better than I thought.